Hi all, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do May favorites. It's going to be kind of going to be April May favorites. I didn't have an April favorites go up um, because I just didn't have a lot of new favorites in the month of April. Um, but kind of between the end of April and now I have accumulated some favorite things and a couple of rediscovered favorites. So I wanted to go ahead and get into that. Um, and a couple of, I have makeup items, uh, still beauty related, but not makeup items, and then one rando item. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. Um, my first thing, and a lot of this stuff that I'm talking about, in fact, all of this stuff, I think, except for my eyebrows, um, I think all of this stuff is on my, on my face today. So yay, yay me remembering to do that. Um, so this Revlon Candid Photo Ready Foundation, I have mine in 150 Creme Brulee. I love this. I, I'm i surprised how much I love this. I heard really good things about this from the beauty community, from other YouTubers, but um, sometimes sometimes what they love in terms of foundation and stuff, I am weary of. <laughs> Just because my skin is so sensitive and you know I have different needs, I have dry skin, uh, dry to nor normal to dry really. But I love this foundation. I love the way it applies. It's a nice medium coverage. The color is great. It blends really easily. Um, I love the packaging. It's like a squeezy tube, but it also has a pump. It's gotten really dirty. You can tell that I've been using it. I'm going to take this with me. In fact, you're going to see a theme. I'm going to take this with me on my vacation. Um, yeah, I really like this. The only thing I don't like is it's not a full fluid ounce like most. Um, Foundations, most foundations are a full fluid ounce. This is 0 0.75 fluid ounces, but whatever. It's on the, it's actually on the less expensive side of drugstore right, makeup, if I remember correctly. So that's okay. Um, I also have been liking this Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. I haven't heard a lot about this uh, concealer. I picked this up with a foundation that I... The, I haven't really used a lot, the Milani foundation, um, the Milani, I picked it up with this Milani Conceal and Perfect. I've honestly only used this once. It smelled like cake. I don't, I don't know why it smelled like cake, but it smelled like cake. I've honestly ever, I think I used it, actually I think I used this twice. Um, I don't really have opinions on this one yet. I'll let you know. This one I've used multiple, multiple, multiple times, multiple times. This one I've only used twice, so I don't really have a full opinion on that. But this I've been using a lot, this Retouch by Milani. Um, I've been really, I've been really enjoying this one. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about bringing the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on my trip, but now I'm reconsidering and maybe I need to bring this because I love the way that this looks under my eyes. I don't like the applicator. In fact, this morning when I was putting it on, I like squeezed it because you got to squeeze in it, it comes out this little thing and I, I never apply it with this little sponge thing here. But it like squirted in my eye and I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> so packaging, not great. Uh, I have O2 light here, but I like the coverage of it. So yeah, I liked it. Um, okay, so speaking of face, uh, you're probably again sick of hearing this. <laughs> Um, but I've been auditioning things to go with me on my trip and the Cali Contour one by a landslide. Um, so I've been using it a lot just to test it to make sure that it will work. And I've been really, really, really loving this. This might have been in another favorites video, but I've been using it so much in the last like month and a half that I just, I, I five weeks, I really enjoy it. I, I use this color to set my under eyes. It's actually replaced my Emily Edit one oops um i love this bronzer i've been digging this blush uh the highlight and all of that is on my face today except for the bronzer the bronzer's not on my face today but i have the blush the highlighter and this as my under eye setting powder i really really enjoy this again i know you're probably sick of hearing it the, the mirror is the same size as the compact which i also love i love the packaging it's cardboard but it's really like it's light and easy to store so and in the same vein, I love my new NARS palette. Again, I just got this, and I know I just got this, but I have gotten so much use out of this. I've probably used it four or five times since I've gotten it because I love it. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. 
Um, this one here is the bronzer I'm wearing today. I'm wearing some of these eyeshadows, namely this one here, this rosy color, the second color here, and then the deep purple over here. Those are the colors that I have on my eyes today, and then I have this as my inner corner highlight. Um, but I, I'm using this along with another palette that I'll show you in a minute, but this is also going with me on my vacation, and I really, I am telling you, I've gotten a lot of use out of it for the short amount of time that I've had it. I'm impressed by the quality. I'm impressed by everything. I also like this. This packaging is a little bit better because it is, you know, you know, it's hard. It's a hard case. Um, again, the pack, the mirror is the full size of the pack compact. I like this a lot. The other thing, the other palette that took me by surprise that I've really loved is the Lo Love in London palette by BH Cosmetics. I picked this up kind of on a whim because I was. I was talking in my video about um, about brands that excite me and don't excite me, and I was talking about BH Cosmetics, how I've never tried anything from them because nothing ever really caught my attention. So I was like, you know, because I do this on YouTube, uh, I should look into it and at least try one thing. So they had three palettes um, on display, and this one intrigued me because it looked nothing like the swatches on the box. like. I looked at the box, box swatches and then I looked at this and I was like, that's a completely different palette. Whoever did the swatches for the box was a, was not, was, wasn't very good with coloring. We'll just leave it at that. Um, but this is a beautiful, beautiful cool tone palette. I was able to get one warm tone look, which I actually have a video on and we'll link, of course, as always. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful array of cool tones. I... I've got I've I've used this like four like four times I think four or five times now and I used a lot of the colors in fact some of them are on my eyes today and I really 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 enjoy this I am surprised at the quality I'm surprised at the pigmentation I'm surprised at everything about this I really love this palette um, so if you see this one in in I, and this isn't one that people talk about this isn't this isn't the real palette that people love. This is Love in London. Like I said, for some reason this one just caught my attention. Picked it up on a whim. So happy I did. Um, okay. So, uh, I'll do my rediscovered favorites kind of at the end. Um, so now on to lip products. Again, I've only had these for a little while because I got them at the VIB sale, but I've been kind of wearing them non-stop. I'm not a you guys know that I always say, I'm not a lip girl. Well, I am a lip girl now. I like, I'm looking at my lip collection going, yeah, yeah, you're, you're a lip girl now. Um, so I got these lip stories at, during this, the, the Sephora VIB sale, and I really, I'm really enjoying this. I'm wearing the color Wee, like French for yes, Wee, <laughs> um, which is this one. So here you go. Kiss, you're like, what What did she just say? And then this is what it looks like on my lips. Oh, it has a, I didn't realize that. It has hashtag cream on there. That's funny. Uh, but this is what the actual lipstick looks like. It is beautiful. You can see it's a pinky color. I I really, really, really love the formula. It's, it's a lipstick, it's a creamy lipstick, so it's obviously not gonna last you eat or drink or even talk too much, like I do. I'm sure it's gonna wear, I, I, I know it wears off pretty quickly, but it's so moisturizing on the lips. It doesn't dry my lips out at all. It, it fades really nicely and look, it just gives a nice sheen to it. I really, I'm really enjoying these. I'm taking one, if not both with me on my cruise, I'm not really sure. If I take one, I'm gonna take this one, which is called Tan Lines. Thai bar, fish restaurant. <laughs> I'm just reading what it says on the thing. Um, I'm gonna bring tan lines, so let me, tan lines. So this is the more nude color. This is the one that I've been wearing more just because it goes with pretty much everything. And it's just a nude color, obviously. And again, it's just super creamy. It's a cream formula. It's super creamy. It's, it's a nudie pink. I really enjoy it. It works really well. Are they incredibly different? No, this one's just more nude and this one's more pink. That's how I roll. 
Don't judge me. Yeah, like I say, you can judge me all you want. I don't really care. Uh, stay on the lip train. Again, I got this. Maybe it's not really April favorites. It's probably, it's May. <laughs> Uh, I did also pick this up at the VIB sale, the Laneige um, Lippy, Lip Glowy Balm in Pear. <sighs> As a person who's addicted to chapstick and loves chapstick with all of her heart and soul, I love this. I love this. I'm about to say something completely controversial. I have the Laneige Sleep Mask, the original. This one here, the lip sleep mask. I don't know if it's because I have to put my finger in it or whatever, but I don't feel like this is nearly as moisturizing as this is. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'll wear this sometimes, but I feel like it dries out my lips. And it could just be my imagination. And it could just be because, again, I'm addicted to chapstick and I'm like, oh, give me more, give me more. But with this, I put it on. It's just, it's so glossy and so moisturizing and so, like, oh. And I can definitely, like, taste and smell the pear in it, which that's what I need to be careful of. I wanted to try one of these, but I, I hate grapefruit. Um, I hate peach. Like, I shouldn't say it like that, but I dislike Pe like peach smells like fake peach smells um and the berry one like I have in the original that one's fine but I I, I understand that it had like a little tint of color this one is clear and pear I like oh it smells amazing it goes on amazing I really enjoy this I really enjoy this <sighs> okay I'm going to do one last makeup item, and it's a rediscovered favorite, which is going to go into my other rediscovered favorite, and then which is a non-makeup but still beauty item. And then I have one more after that, and then I have my rando. So my, light, my Tarte Slights Camera Lashes. I love this thing. I love this thing. During the VIB, no, no, not VIB, during the Ulta sale, the 21 Days of Beauty back in March. In fact, I might have already mentioned this, and if I have, I'm sorry. But back in March when they did the 21 Days of Beauty, I picked up three full tubes of this and a mini tube. And a mini one. Because, and that is the only mascara I'm taking with me on my trip. Like, I, I love this thing. I should have got, I should have picked up more from the, or from the 21 Days of Beauty, but, oh, I love this stuff. I love it for the upper, I love it for the lower. This is what I'm wearing today. I can't rave enough about this. And I know this is like an old mascara and not everybody talks about it and it's all about the better than sex and blah, blah, blah. I love this. Oh, you know what else I've been really loving? I've been really loving the, I, this is like a last minute add in. I've really been loving the Milk Kush one too. Um, other than the fact that I feel like it's super messy because of the huge brush. I love the volume or the separation and the length that this gives. Like I wouldn't have thought this one would give like separation because of the brush. That'd be more like volume, but it separates nicely. I really have been joining this formula as well. Um, people rave about, people do rave about this one and I can see why. I'm actually a really big fan of this one as well. So you know what? I'm gonna throw this in of my favorites as well. I say like, so there. <laughs> no, I just I I just remembered that this is awesome. I love this. So now on to non um, makeup items. Um, the first one. I think I heard about this from Kristen Game way back in the day. Um, it's the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. I love this. Um, I think I talked about this in What's in My Shower. A while ago, um, but I love this stuff. It's a it's a moisturizer. You put it on while you're in the shower, um, and then you rinse it off, and then you get out, you pat dry, and it's like you don't have to put you don't have to put body lotion on once you're done. In fact, I'm almost out. I gotta get more. Um, but I really, 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 really like it. Um, I'm with Kristen Game. She was she said when she recommended it to get the blue bottle for the very dry skin. Um, I think the first time I grabbed just the dry skin one 
and it's not nearly as moisturizing as the very dry skin. So even if you don't have very dry skin, just get this one because it's awesome. It saves you, it doesn't really save you a step because you're doing it in the shower instead of out of the shower, but it's actually really, really good. It seems gimmicky. I thought it was really gimmicky at first, but it's actually really, really good. I love this it's a rediscovered favorite. Like I said, I've been using it so much, I think I have to get more. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to mention that. Um, I've been showing you my Sephora solid brush cleaner that I, I bought at the VIB sale. Um, and I'm going to go back to using that to clean my brushes. But for right now, I have this Dr. Bronner's Pure Castiel Soap. Um, and this is in Cherry Blossom. And I don't know if Cherry Blossom was like a limited edition scent or what. Uh, I got this at Marshall's, I think. Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. This is a pretty expensive, like, pretty expensive because this is the big bottle. This is uh, 950 milliliters. Uh, yeah, 950 milliliters. Okay. It's a big, big bottle. I actually already went through a big bottle of the unscented one. Um, I had got that for my mom when she was, um, and she was in the hospital last year because she needed like an unscented soap to clean with. So I had gotten her the Dr. Bronner's um, unscented version. She, it dried out her skin, so we got her something different and I just took that home with me and I ended up using it just to clean my brushes with. This stuff you can pretty much use do with anything. You can wash your body, you can wash clothes, you can wash. It's supposed to be like a multi-use kind of thing. Um, yeah, you can use it to clean your face. It, it's just, it, it, there's a multi-use in it, but I use it specifically to clean my brushes. I am down to there. I've had it for like probably two, two and a half months now. Um, but so just not quite halfway through yet. Um, but yeah, I use this to clean my brushes. It gets my brushes really, really clean. And then for my rando item, my random thing that I wanted to talk about. Last time I think I talked about my uh, Bel uh, Belvita, I think they're called, uh, little cookies. Today I want to talk about something a tad bit healthier. It's a protein bar. And I know what you're thinking. Ugh, protein bars. This one tastes like a candy bar. Like, legit. I was shocked. It's called Build Bar. And they come in nine different flavors I want, I want to say. Um, I'll, I'll link them down below. I'm trying to get a code 20% um, off your first order, 10% off, or maybe it's 10% off. I don't know. I'm trying to get a code for you and I'll, I'll if, if I can by the time I get this video up, I'll link it for you and give you the code. Um, I don't think I get any kickback for it. It's just you get 10% off. I always I always find codes. If, you, if I can't find a code, just go to their their um, Facebook page and it's just flooded <laughs> with other people's codes. So just, you know, always, I never, I never buy, I never buy them full price. I always get 10% off of them. Let's actually talk about them, shall we? So this is the mint flavor and it's my favorite. All of them are covered in dark chocolate. So if you like dark chocolate or chocolate at all, oh my God, it tastes like a freaking candy bar. This tastes like Andy's. There's a coconut one that I also really love that tastes like a Mounds bar. Um, my other favorite is vanilla. Um, the strawberry ones, oh my gosh. They have so many different flavors it's, and apparently they're coming out with a coffee flavor one. I'm so excited. So there's 110 calories in here, 15 grams of protein, six fibers, four sugars. That's it, just four sugars. I think the carbs are really low too. Um, carbs, there's 13 grams of carbs but there is an additional six grams of uh, fiber, and if you if you do anything with macros, you'll know you subtract the amount of uh, fiber from the carbs, and you'll get the net carbs. So uh, even even at 13 grams, it's not that bad at all. With only four grams of sugar, uh, so net carbs are five net carbs are five grams. This is amazing. The only thing that I say about these, actually I say two things. Number one, put them in the fridge or the freezer because they're really they're really good cold. Warm, they're kind of meh, but cold, oh, they're real good. 
Like they're real good cold. Um, and number two, watch out, they're like candy. Seriously, you're gonna eat them like candy. I, I want like five a day. And I have to be like, no Kristen, they're they're not they're, they're not meal replacement bars. They're I do eat one for breakfast, but they're like an energy bar or a protein bar. You know, you grab them before or after a workout. Um, or when you like want something sweet, but you're on a diet. I want to eat like the whole box every time I get them. Um, so be warned, but I, I highly recommend these. I've tried a lot of protein bars. Um, I hate the Quest ones. I'm trying to think of what my other favorite protein bar was before this. The One. I think they're called One Bars. I loved the One Bars. Those were really good and also the Perfect Bars, the ones that are in the, that you have to keep refrigerated um, and that you get them in the refrigerated section. Those were the two that I really liked. Um, and RX Bars. I also like RX Bars. But this one knocked them all out of the water. Like seriously. I, I cannot emphasize enough how much this tastes like a candy bar. Uh, <laughs> So those are my May favorites. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.